The rules are simple. 15 spins to start you off. Make as much money as possible in two hours. Each 5k you make can be exchanged for a spin on the randomizer. Pots, food, tellies and tools can all be bought off the GE. A ring of wealth is given to each player. Once they're out of GE tellies, they cannot sell or spin anymore. Items bought off the GE cannot be sold back. Whatever items are on your randomizer at the end of the two hours are what you use in the fight. This is the area we're allowed to make our money in. Okay, peace and cheese, welcome back. And uh, we're gonna do our 15 spins now to see what it is gonna send us off to. So let's have a look and let's go. We're gonna go for a weapon first because I think that's gonna be the most important. If we can get a decent weapon, we'll probably go and start killing stuff. If we don't get a decent weapon, then we probably will go and grab ourselves some skilling or something like that to make some money. So let's do this. First roll. Oh, <laughs> that's annoying that that's not in the game. That's insane. Uh, Rune Dagger P. Mm. You know what? I'm not going to take that. Let's keep going. Roll three. That's an air battle staff. No, I don't think that's really worth it. So let's go for spin four. Miss battle staff. No. Spin five. That is ridiculous. Spin six. Ooh, leaf bladed battle axe. That's not bad. We will take that. Okay, leaf bladed battle axe. Good start. Okay, let's get some... Uh, let's see if we can get a body. Spin seven. Mithril. We'll, we'll stick with that for now. Eight. Mm, uh, nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Uh, Addy plate legs. All right, let's see if we can get like a glory or something. We've got three spins left. So one. Unblessed symbol. I think that's pretty good for prayer, isn't it? Right, that's the one that gives nothing. Okay, all right. So we've got two spins left. One more. No, glory, please. Ooh, unholy symbol. Oh, that gives eight prayer, and it also gives attack bonuses. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. All right, cool. We'll take that. All right, guys. Here we are. The Kandarin Randomizer PvP Challenge. We have 15 spins that we have to spin to start us off with some gear. Going to focus on that weapon, see what we can get, see what maybe we can kill with this weapon. I mean, it all depends on what we roll. These 15 spins will tell us a lot. So... 15, let's go do it. Let's start with weapon. Spin number one, crystal pickaxe. You know, that wouldn't be too bad of a one, but I don't think mining is going to um, be the move in, in Kandarin. So we're going to skip past that. That's kind of useless. Rune dart, P+. Plus. Oh, God. That's actually not the worst thing in the world. But it's a dart. Oh, man. Thing is, we have to spin all 15 at the beginning, and we can't only spin partial. Mm, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to keep spinning. I think I'm going to keep spinning. Fuck it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Let's get starter range gear then. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's see... Yeah, let's let's be a little tanky. Let's be a little tanky because we might not be able to safe spot everything. <laughs> That's an ugly ass uh, head. All right, we have two rolls left. I guess a shield would be better technically. That's a steel kite shield. Let's do one more spin. Falador shield three. Could you even get the Falador shield three if you have the four? Because if I can't, then that's no shield. But anyways, this is our 15 spins, guys. This is what we are working with. Let's go see what we can make happen. Okay, let's start this timer, and we are going to start super simple here, guys. And I think I'm just going to go to the Chaos Druid Tower. Um, the average drop for... Let me get this out of your way so you can see what I'm talking about. The uh, the average drop for a Chaos Druid is about 750 GP. I was looking at Ogress Warriors. Uh, the problem with the Ogress Warriors is I'll probably need food, and it's quite a long way away from where I am right now, plus a bank. So... With this, we can just sort of like go here and bank back. And uh, yeah. Hopefully get some lucky Raynars. Hopefully get some lucky, uh, you know, runes, etc. And uh, yeah, make a decent amount of money. There is the first Raynar. Amazing. And some more Myth Bolts. I'm just collecting pretty much anything that's worth money. So like the Qualms are worth a K. 
The Aventos are worth like two. So yeah, we're up to actually 22k already, which is really, really nice. Okay, I think that's going to be the first inventory, and we are going to use our first Ring of Dueling teleport to the Grand Exchange, which means we can stop the clock. And I think we've made about 50k here, so let's sell it off and see. So we made 45k, a little bit less than I thought. I think I'm going to throw 40k into spins, and we'll leave 5k left over to buy some food, and maybe some pots and stuff, so we can be a bit more efficient, and then we can move on. So let's Get out the randomizer, see what we can get. We have ourselves eight spins here, so I think I'm going to go with a shield slot. One. Ooh, <laughs> that's a very good one to pull. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go helm. That's two, three, four, five. Oh, <laughs> okay, Torag helm. So we've got three more spins here. Let's go one boot. Split bark boots, all right. Let's go one ring. That takes us, this will be roll seven. And let's do one here for roll eight on the cape. Okay, not not great, but these two, huge additions, huge additions. Okay, we're back. Let's start the timer, and I will tell you what I bought and why I bought it. So I got myself a anti-fire potion because, obviously, we're going to go and kill some dragons in the Myths Guild. I uh, got a super strength and a super attack, and a load of stews just because they were like 30 GP each. They heal 11, which is a pretty decent heal for what it is. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to go for red dragons, guys. I'm going to give red dragons a go. Apparently, they're 6.6k on average a kill. Green dragons are like 3k, blue dragons are 4-ish k, um, and I think black dragons are only about 400 GP more than a red dragon, so it makes sense to go for the reds on efficiency. If the reds are a little bit too difficult, I'll either go for blue or green, depending on what I think is worth it. But let's go give this a go, and uh, see if we can make some decent money. Alright guys, we have our setup. Decided to start in Artie Castle. What I'm thinking is, well, first of all, I was going to do chins, but chins are really, really, really cheap right now. I have a few ideas where I could potentially make a lot more than I could if I caught red chins. I might still go there depending on how this works out, but little things like this could give me the edge to make more money. I think the ultimate goal might be to kill dragons. I mean... Or I, I technically could save spot dragons right now, but without a shield, it's just going to be super risky. I'd have to save spot it, and darts, I don't think, are the most effective thing against dragons. And I think green dragons in the um, myth guild is the worst one to save spot out of all of them. So, the idea I have is to pick up the black scimitar, hop worlds, and or pick up the black scimitar, and then loot this chest. I'm going to try both going to see which one I think is faster. This sells for 1.5k each, but it's actually a pretty small limit per day on um, you know, how many are sold on the Grand Exchange. It's only like a thousand, so I can't like overdo this method or else I'm pretty sure um, the Black Scimitar will start to sell for a lot less than, than that 1.5k. So without further ado, let's start that timer. Let's pick lock the door. I don't need a pick lock, right? Imagine I did nothing interesting happens. Let me in. Let me in. Oh my gosh, do I need a pick lock? I, I could have sworn I've done this before. If I hit, the door is locked. Oh, there we go. That scared me. Now, if I just hop worlds, don't want to go to a league world by mistake. If I just hop worlds, I could just loot the black scimitar just like this. And in doing so, I could probably do this faster than I can. Catch chins and these sell for 500 more GP than a chin does. So I want to do this for a bit. I'm not sure about looting the chest though because that makes me spawn way on the other side of Artie. And that, you know, that's just going to be a long walk back. Um, if I want to buy teleports, that's, that just eats into the costs. So uh, I think I'm going to get a full inventory of this. Get some starting cash the only bad thing about this is that the bank isn't too close um and i really don't want to waste a wealth charge just to uh sell 28 of these for for not too many spins so we'll see how quick this is i mean we already have let's take a look when it loads up we already have eight so we're zooming in a minute and a half in and we have eight i'll take it 
First inventory is complete. Let's give a quick price check. Quick price check. 40k for less than five minutes of work. I guess technically that doesn't, you know, factor in banking. Um, but that is really, really cool. Again, I don't want to get too many of these just because I don't think black simmies are that in demand. Um, I might do an, you know, one more inventory, use a wealth telly, get that cash, and maybe get some better range gear to try and actually range the dragons. Um, an anti-dragon fire shield is, is a bit of a risk to go for. Okay, our second inventory. Guys, we are going to go to the Grand Exchange and sell these. Let's pause the timer and let's see how much money we actually get from this. I'm a bit nervous, but it's only 10 minutes in, so if it backfired, I'm not going to be too stressed but there are so many better methods if this does backfire so um very scared here oh and yes i'm still trying to buy my gothic skirt that i i literally can't buy so that's in there as well um okay this isn't gonna sell oh okay well that's a <laughs> wait a sec wait a sec wait a sec okay no i mean we're we're actually not in a rush because the timer isn't going down but we definitely can't sit here all day that kills the spirit of the challenge and it's sold oh ooh, 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 shit guys i think that's a bang and money maker and we could do that again for a little bit longer okay let's try this anti-fire boom super attack now, I don't know if I'm going to pray mage. Actually, yeah, I might as well. There's an altar literally right upstairs. I think you pray mage in this instance. I believe you do, because that gives you full anti-fire. I don't know. I'm going to do me melee. I feel like I'm going to get roasted either way. I think it's melee. We're going melee. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Probably flick piety as well. Seeing as we've got the altar upstairs, I don't need to be super great at flicking. Nice. Red dragon's looking very doable. There we go. That's the first one down. What are we going to get? A Mithril 2H. We'll take it. How much was that first kill worth? 5.5k. That kill alone was worth a spin. Insane. So I've done a kill of each dragon now. Well, except the black. But the black I'm not even going to go near. Um, because I wanted to just see how good each one was. And uh, green seems to be the outline winner, to be honest. We killed them so quickly because they only have 75 HP. They got lower defense, and they still drop the dragon bones, you know? So I think they're the way to go. I think they're going to be the best money here. Um, and also, I got hit, like, back-to-back -back 35s by the green dragons while not praying mage. And I had made sure I was still anti-doted up, or whatever you call it, anti-fired. So uh, I've, I've gone for the anti-fire instead of what we were doing before. What's that? Oh, an insult dragon head? That's 7k right there. Or 6666. There you go. There's a bad omen for you guys. We need to get this kill down because otherwise I could get anti I could get dragon fired out. Nice. See how easy that is compared to the uh, other ones. Just so quick. Uh, so I think we do greens and we're looking really good. Made a lot of money here. Okay, we have 104k to spend. I think I'm going to chuck it all into spins to be honest, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm fairly happy with the weapon. I'm quite happy with the shield and the helm. I think I need to upgrade the body and the legs because if we can get those like tanky, then we can probably start firing uh, some spins into the weapon to try and get something really, really OP. So, gonna go with the myth plate body first. Let's go ahead and do this. Spin one. Nope, two, three. <sighs> That's what you want to see. Okay. <laughs> okay, four. Let's go for the legs. Let's try and get something big here. No, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my. <laughs> we nearly got full Torag here. <laughs> what? Okay, that's eight rolls. Um, Let's try and get a glory. Here we go. Nine, ten, eleven. 11. 12, no, 13, yes, okay, 13 spins, so I've got another 7, I've got another 7, um, let's try and get a glove, 1, 2, 3, are they good, 6, 7, ugh, a crab claw, does give a strength bonus, so I guess we'll take it, it's not tradable though, so I probably can't buy it. 
Other than that, though, that is a sick setup. That has made us a tank. All right, kid, we've got an hour. We've got an hour. Uh -oh. You build your base, I build mine, and we meet back and we and we go, all right? Okay. Yeah? I've said uh, sword shield upgrade for... <gasps> I'm being hit! How does spider... Die, die, yes. Die. Yeah, you little shit. Iron. Fuck off. Iron. Go, Fuck go, off, go, and now I'm iron. damaged. Go, iron. He's gonna pull off the maneuver. <laughs> Look at you, Edge, him, bro. <laughs> I died! I saved! Save! <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's gotta be, it's high. So first off, I wanna say that since I wasn't doing any combat, I didn't have the skirt on. The Guthic skirt wasn't selling for 700 k in the Grand Exchange, so I figured screw it, I get Zami. It's the same stats and I don't get any like God Wars dungeon advantage from it. Um, so I figured that was fine, it's the same exact stats. Um, and of course we need to always have on what we roll. So I will be having that on because I am not paying any more than 700k for a gothic skirt. That's ridiculous. I mean, there's probably none even in the grand exchange. But anyways, I'm going to cash in 14 spins, guys. So let's bank 70k. I want 14 spins. I decided to keep the darts. Actually, if I, the th here's the thing. If I keep the darts and I spin really good range gear, then I'm going to be forced to go range in the fight. I, I could probably still kill dragons with anti-fires and protect from magic. Am I really going to roll over a fucking armadillo chest plate, though? Mm, I might have to, guys. This is difficult. We have 14 spins. We have 14 spins. Let's just roll weapon. No matter what we roll, we can still do the black scimitar method. So let's... Ooh, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, you don't get the effect from the wilderness, but it's like a crushed dragon mace, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> oh, we need better, though. I'd rather get the weapon I need in the fight while I kill the dragons. You know? So I'm going to have to spin over it. I know, that hurts. Room pick? That that wouldn't be bad for um, mining, but I mean, nothing's going to beat that that black scimitar method. Not that I think, at least. Rune knives. That's actually an upgrade over what I have. It's actually an upgrade. <laughs> Not that, again, it doesn't fit the plan mold that I have. Oh, man. There's so many ranged weapons. It's sickening. That's actually an upgrade because it's P++ on that one. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. That is crap. That is crap. Uh, staff of air, so it's just the basic the basic spells. I, I can kill Salary and the Twisted, but there's no way that's better money than what I'm doing now. Corrupted Harpoon, that's nothing. We got one more roll left. Oh my god, a white Warhammer. Fuck's sake. Alright, everything else is the same. White Warhammer coming up. Wait, it genuinely might be faster to bank to actually loot this chest. We're gonna test it. We also get some stuff from the chest, which is quite nice. Uh, we lost a sapphire. Okay, not the worst problem, but, um, is this quicker? Dude, this is quicker to do that. But I don't know, at least this method gives us a shark, an adamantite ore, and 1k GP, which, plus the sapphire, I mean, this is an extra 2.5k. Okay, I'll probably just do that from now on, when I bank. Sweet. Alright, we're coming up. Actually, we're past the 30 minute mark now. I believe I have nearly 100 once I finish this inventory, which this is the last one. Um, I'm not going to hit the chest because I am just going to tell you right from here to the Grand Exchange. Pause the clock and uh, let's see how many we have. It's a lot. It's a lot. I'm actually a bit terrified they're not going to sell. Um, 72 plus 26. We have 98. And then uh, 3 Addy Ore. Three rush shark. So let's dump this in real quick. Please sell. Okay, we're back at the altar. So let's start the timer. And I'm going to go and try and do some tortured gorillas now. Tortured gorillas. Um, I want to do demonics. But unfortunately, we don't have the ability to get two weapons. Otherwise, I would try. That could be something we could implement if you guys are enjoying this idea. Um, we could implement getting two weapons. But as of right now for this episode, we can't. Meaning that I can't really do demonics. Uh, because, you know, I just wouldn't be able to do two attack styles. But I can do Tortured, because they don't prey anything. So we're going to give it a go. They do drop some good stuff. Um, we want to go to the Gnome Stronghold. Let's give it a go, and see if it's going to be better than Dragons. There we go, first kill. Ooh, that's a good one. 
We'll take that. Oh, I thought it was 10. I didn't realize it was 5. Okay, it's 4K. 4.8K? Not bad. Okay, I think this is going to be our last kill here. That they're hit and miss. If you hit the rune stuff, then I guess they'll be pretty good, but they're just a bit too slow. So I'm going to come up with a new idea. Oh, there's an 11. I'm going to try and go to the gnome fashion shop and buy cream hats. They've got about a 600 GP markup on them, selling them at the GE. Um, and I looked at GE Tracker and they are bought. It's not just something, because I looked at another thing was, um, another moneymaker I was looking at was Dashing Kebit Fur. Um, over by, you know, that side of the map. Um, they're worth like 1k each. And I was like, whoa, they're really easy to get. That would be really good money. But GE Tracker was like, yeah, no, they don't get bought. So there's no point in doing that. Whereas these cream hats apparently do. About 300 were sold yesterday. So let's hope they're still being bought. I'm taking a punt here. Let's buy them all and let's hop and see if this is going to make me bank. I do have a lot of money to buy um, or get once we sell, you know, all those dragon bones and, uh, and the torture gorilla stuff. So we do have a little bit of money to bank on, but I'm hoping this is going to do it. Is this going to work? We bought them for about 150 each, I think. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh. that's insane. That's insane. I bought a green one just in case as well. Oh, okay. This could be a big money maker. This could be a big one. So we're up to just... Now that I've got a lot of money, I could go and buy a load of them. I think we're going to have to do this, guys. Uh, I don't know why I've tried to sell that. That we got given the GE thingy. That I can't sell. 38k I made from that. Okay, nice. This was just me being an idiot. It should be in my bank. Well, I know it'll sell, but please sell for an okay price. That doesn't really go down too much. That's good news. And okay, okay. This shows us that we probably should stop doing that method now, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, wow. Okay, that's not so. I'm glad I didn't hit the chest more often then. Um, interesting okay interesting let's put this a little lower then because i need that money now oh that's not selling that's scary that is scary oh mm. come on i need the money now i need the money now um let's try it oh gosh oh no oh no okay we can keep it in there. We'll keep it in there. We should get that 50k by the end of the episode. I'm not going to stand in the GE the whole time to, to wait for that to sell. Um, but I'm just going to go about it like I normally would. So currently we can cash in 100k for 20 spins. Which is exactly what we'll do. We'll keep 5k on the account just for safe measure. Great. We have 20 spins. Well, 19 now. Come on. Come on. Ooh, Lava Battle Staff. That's not a very good spell. This is a Mystic Lava Staff. It's still... that. that I mean, a Mystic Lava Staff is only going to be like a Blast spell, guys. It's not going to be that big, not that big of a deal, which is the issue. Um, come on. We need a weapon. <laughs> I mean, that would be awesome if we could actually get it. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh! That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I have no idea if we're going to keep that, but fuck. Fuck. Okay. Uh, it's stab. Good against dragons. We're going to have to ditch the body because that gives negative slash bonus, and we have to always wear the items that we have. Um, I have five more spins. I, I'm actually mad at myself that I just spinned um, a fucking bronze chain body after I had an armor chest plate. You hate to see it. That is what you fucking love to see, though. So, am I really that upset? Not really. Not really. Three spins to go. Um, it's a damaged book. Not even a... It's not even a book of balance. Let's do shields. Okay. Nope. That's perfect. I hope it sells. I hope it doesn't make me pay 700k for it again. Or it actually didn't even sell for 700k. Uh, we have one more roll. Let's roll it up here. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, we'll keep that. Yeah, we'll fucking... Oh, God. Guys, let's let's gear up and kill some dragons. We'll actually... Oh, wait. 
we need to buy anti-fire pots if we can if we could afford that shit we don't have any prayer pots we might have to make a little like a little little bit of money elsewhere oh wait these pots are so cheap hold on anti-fire pots okay we're back here time is back on let's rinse and repeat Okay, this is going to be my last inventory. We'll have about 100 of them. And if they stay selling at about a K each, that's 100k that we should have. But I don't, I can't rely on this, you know. At some point, that clan is going to stop buying them. You know, they only need a certain number. So there is going to be a point where this won't work. And I can't really rely on this. And I've again forgotten to buy anti-fire. So I can't go and kill green dragons. So I'm going to have to go back to the GE. Hope these sell. Then, ah... Uh, this is difficult, because do I spin weapon? Because if I get a bad weapon, then I'm not able to kill green dragons. But at the same time, I'm going to have a lot of money to put into spins. It's really tough, because we've got such a good layout, guys. Such a good layout. That if we can just pair it with, like, a really OP weapon, I'd feel really confident. Uh, let's get one more. Right, guys. Here we go. Moment of truth. Come on. Please. Please. Oh. <sighs> This is insane. This is insane. This is a good money maker, guys. Back in the day, when I was a shit YouTuber and I had no subs, these are the videos I would do. I'd be like, go and buy cream hats right now. So this is my forte, guys. 121K. Go and buy cream hats. <laughs> 121K. We're going to chuck them in. <sighs> you know what? We're not going to. We're not going to. I'm going to buy myself anti-fire. And then I am going to buy a little bit of food. We're going to try and get a few dragon kills. The reason for this is I don't want to start spinning my weapon, lose my leaf blade axe, and then not be able to kill green dragons. So that's why I'm going to go get some insurance money with the with the green dragons and the leaf blade battle axe. And then we'll come and we'll spin a load to try and get some OP weapon like a you know a tent whip, etc, etc. Because the rest is OP. Could get some gloves and some boots and some ring, cape, yes, but they're all a bit, you know, after you get a good weapon, go for those. Okay, let's start this timer, and boom, let's get ourselves back to the Mids Guild, and get just a little bit more money. Sat on about 120k right now, maybe a little bit more, 100 and something around there. Was it 120? I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, so we're around that sort of value. I would like to get to 200, then I'd feel very safe in going for some spins. Uh, let's see. I think green dragons might actually be better GP than doing that hat method. I'm not sure. It's it's very close, but honestly, the GP is insane here as well. Right, that is actually going to be as much green dragons as I can do because I've run out of anti-fire. And obviously, I only have one telly back to the GE. As soon as I use that, I can't buy... Or I can't spin any more items because the only place we can spin new items is the GE. So got 11 minutes left. I think I'm just going to hit up the. Uh, I think I'm going to hit up the cream hats again and buy a few because we do have 116k, a little bit more than 116k, about 121k with all the green dragon uh, GP that was dropped uh, to spend. So I'm probably just going to spend the last 10 minutes buying that, and then we'll use our last GE teleport to get ourselves. The spins and everything ready for the fight. Um, I gotta be careful. Only three charges on my wealth. Of course, that's the only way we can sell stuff is if we have wealth charges. So we can't just send them like crazy. I can charge my prayer on top of the Myths Guild right here. So I'm thinking anti-fire pot, protect from magic. Maybe I just camp it up the whole time. Let me pot up. Okay. Okay. This should be really, really nice, guys. This should be really, really nice. We have an hour and a half left. Let's see what damage we can do here. Let's see all the uh, coins we can rack up because I feel like we're going to have a lot of upgrades coming and I am extremely excited. I only used 76 prayer points to get me down to 20, so prayer's not an issue. Uh, just recharge it right there. Um, the rune light tracker is saying 41.4k in loot, and then we're going to bank it. And also with the pots, I'll probably pot before i actually go down and then bank it in there like that uh same for the anti-fire so we could just save a lot more space all right let's collect and 247k that also includes some of this that got taken out so that's why it's a bit higher uh than the figure i just read plus we had like 10k in there or whatever the heck it was so i'm gonna do it let's put in 240k and let's just go for gold here we have enough resources if you want to keep killing dragons um 
And while I'm doing that, I'm seeing if I can discover something that gives more money than killing those green dragons. So anyways, we have 48 spins. Let's definitely round out this gear just a little more and see if we can perfect it. All right, 48 spins. Let's start filling out the slots, guys, because we have a lot of empty still, a lot of upgrades we could potentially get in a lot of these slots as well. So let's just click in some. Is that a combat bracelet? Ooh, nice. Um, Glory's really easy to get. Okay, wow, just like that, just like that. Um, rings. Ring of Wealth 5, interesting. I mean, that does give you more teleports that I can get. It would replace my Ring of Wealth 2. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a big issue, though, for this challenge. So, I'll keep it for now, but I'm not too excited about it, to be honest. Can we get some decent boots? Can we get some decent boots? Bando's boots, good range defense. Good defense all around, prayer bonus. Can we get some legs? Can we get some okay legs? Um, come on. Come on. Ooh, yes, okay. All right, things are looking good. Cape, I don't want that cape. I want a skill cape. I want a nice skill cape. I don't want to waste too many on the cape slot, though. I don't think that gives any bonuses. Oh, come on. Boom, perfect. I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to change that. Range cape is fine. Prayer bonus, I have it. Um, combat bracelet's probably good enough, to be honest. Uh, so right now, I have 16 more spins. Might shoot for a fury, to be honest. Might just shoot for a fury. I, th I think it's one of the best things you can honestly get because it gives a lot of defense bonuses. Ah, <sighs> fuck it. Let's, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Come on. Wow, I'm getting a lot of the same stuff. Come on. Amulet of Fury. Amulet of Fury, let's go. Oh, God, okay. I have two spins left. I have two spins left. <sighs> this is tough. This is tough. Very happy with helm, plate, legs. Very, very happy with that. Cape. Honestly, I would like a better weapon, but I think that's that's very very bold to be to be clicking on that right now. Um, uh, screw it. We'll we'll try the necklace because we could. Oh my gosh, just glories! A third age amulet. I gotta buy a third age amulet now. Come on, Jack X. All right, uh, let's buy this stuff and get back to making some money. Okay, that's going to be me done. Five minutes left, and I am going to use my last Grand Exchange teleport. Let's stop the clock. Now, the reason I've done this is I don't want to chuck, like, 20k into these hats, and then they don't sell. And I want to know what I've got. This is my time done. I can't go back now because th there will be no point. I've used all of my GE charges. So, let's see if these are going to sell. Now we do have a load of other things to sell from the uh, Green Dragon, so this isn't all the money I'm going to have, but please. Oh, man. Not quite for as much as earlier, but still a really good price, 153k. We made 524k, so I think max I'll use 90 spins here. So let's do this. There's some things I want to change, but the first thing I want to change is I want to get a better weapon. So let's see if we can pull a better weapon here. One, two, oh, that is, it's better, it's better, but is it good enough? I got 90 spins or 88 spins left. No, we keep rolling, we keep rolling, we go for big. Four, five, six, nah, seven. If I just rolled that back to back, wow. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh. Wow, an ACB. Okay, we gotta go for we gotta go for a body here now. We have to. Right, roll 17, 18, 19. Oh fuck off! No, give me, give me, give me something range. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 
No, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that's 30 rolls now, guys. Uh, so here we go. Roll 31, 32. Mm, might stick with that for now. Rune kites only give minus two in range, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with that. We need to change these boots up, the gloves. So let's go for gloves first. Roll thirty three. Okay, cool. Take those for now. Thirty four. Thirty five. Guardian boots. Ooh. I think they're okay. Yeah. Super tanky. Only minus one range. We'll take that. We'll take that. Ring or cape? Let's go cape to start with. 36, 37, 38, 39. Don't have that. 40, 41, 42. Wish I had that. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Okay, so I was like a half idiot there. I started walking up to West Artie and then realized that I can use the rat pits to telly because of course I had to actually come from um, Feldzit Pills, the Myths Guild. But guys, I want to test my luck a little bit. I feel like my setup's pretty good. Oop, did not mean to do that. I feel like my setup's pretty good. I have nearly an hour left. Dark Beasts have some pretty awesome loot. Now, Green dragons are probably more per hour, but these definitely have a potential to give more per hour. If I get a nice drop, if I get a dark bow, I know, fingers crossed, right? I'm really stretching here. But even if I don't get a dark bow, th the loot should be okay enough to where I can still get some awesome spins. Um, I'm not even sure how easy these will be to kill. They mage since when? Um, do they mage a lot? Seems like I am hitting, though. So I decided to test my luck at the Dark Beasts. A very weird monster, I know, I know. A lot of people are probably thinking green dragons are better, and yes, they they probably are. The, the reason why I'm here, though, is because I bought all these stews, and I figured I, I could get lucky with some drops, not necessarily with a Dark Bow, but they do have a lot of rune equipment that they drop, and it could mean more spins than killing green dragons. Plus, they, they aren't too hard to hit i figured if it's a shit plan i can just leave and go back to dragons i think it's worth a try because i think her setup is looking pretty nifty here and i'm quite excited we still have 52 minutes left um and we also have the full ring of wealth five now as well because we rolled for it so we can actually bank anywhere we want to the ge and it's essentially like last recalling back if this was trailblazers um, and we, we pause our time at the Grand Exchange, so it's like a free bank, essentially. It's awesome. So, Ring of Wealth, really strong in this challenge. All I can say is, thankfully, I only wasted about 10 minutes doing that and no more, because that was the worst method I've ever done in my life. I expected something I've got in 5.2k in 11 kills. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, we're gonna make the plan a lot simpler. Collect that because all of the black scimitar is sold. We're going to buy some Bok traps just because it's on the way. And I don't want to waste a teleport if I don't have to, even though I'm sure I have enough. But we're going to get to box traps and we're just going to catch some red chins. And I should be making about what I make at Green Dragons. But I think I can make a little bit more because I can do five box traps. Um, I don't want to do the scimitars again. I mean, you, you just saw why it takes forever to sell and I, I can't risk it not selling by the end of the episode since there's only 40 minutes left. Uh, let's buy like seven. And uh, let's just walk down to Felt of Pills and catch some chins. See how many we can catch in 40 minutes. 50? Oh, God. 51? 52? Come on. 53? 54? Don't have that. 55? 56? 57? 58. Got that. Okay, cool. 58. We'll take the cooking cape. It's like an obby cape uh, with prayer bonus. <sniffs> Got to go ring, don't we? Try and get an archer's ring, I think. So 59. 60. Oof. Uh, nah, not worth it. Not worth it. 61. 62. 63. 64. 
65, no, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Archer's ring, unimbued though, unimbued. Uh, okay, 72 spins. I really feel like trying to get a fury or an anguish. Oh no, we need bolts. We need bolts. Okay, let's try and get bolts. Uh, so this is 73. Mithril bolts P. No. 74. No. 75. 76. Ooh, dragon bolts P. Yeah, we'll take those. 76 spins spun. Uh, this is a sick setup. This is an insane setup. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and try and get it. I think glories are fairly common, so. We're going to try and get ourselves an, an Anguish or the Fury. Here we go. 77. Oh, there's another Glory. 78. Another Glory. 79. 80. 81. 82. Third Age Amulet. What the hell stats does that give? Oh, that's sick for magic. But uh, no, we don't want that. Okay. 83. 84. It's a glory again. We'll stick with that. It's not happening. Uh, let's try and upgrade the blue spiky bands. Let's see what we can do. 85. 86. Rod that back to back. 87. No! <laughs> 88. 89. Last spin. 90. Wow! Yes! <laughs> That's 90 spins there, guys, which comes out to a cost of 450k. So, guys, this is the setup. It is looking incredible. Absolutely insane. 297 range defense, 76 magic. So, he goes range or magic. We're looking really strong. He goes melee. We're looking really strong. We've got 143 range with a range strength of 122. Prayer looking great as well. Feeling very, very confident here. Anything he goes, I'd be I'd be completely happy with, to be honest. Uh, it's just whether or not he has a better setup than this, really. Uh, there's no there's no combat that would be really effective against this. So very happy. Uh, then we go on with Mantas, Karamb Ones, um, and then a Super Restore with a Bastion Potion and an Anti-Venom just in case he gets something like a Toxic Trident, Blowpipe, etc. Uh, just because I don't want to be sat there losing the fight because I didn't bring an Anti-Venom. And also this will protect us from poison for like 16 minutes or something like that. So don't need to worry about poison or Venom now. Thanks to that. So I think that was a good purchase. I think this is going to be enough. I'd be very surprised if he beats me. I really would. So uh, let's go and have a fight. Let's see who wins. We are officially approaching the last seconds of... Actually, why am I laying those down? We need to make sure we telly um, by the time is up. I mean, it doesn't matter if we leave these on the ground, to be honest. But nothing else I can do in, you know, seven seconds time. So it looks like Chins at my level was just marginally slower than what I could expect from the Green Dragons. Um, let's hope they actually sell. Okay, wow, 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 wow. I almost had a heart attack because, of course, I would have had to just keep dumping it until they did sell because there's no time left in this challenge. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do before I cash in any GP for spins, we, of course, want to buy our inventory setup for the fight. So first off, we want a super combat potion. I, I feel like at this point, I'm definitely going melee. Um, even if I roll a really amazing ranged weapon, if I decide to reroll my weapon, I, I, there's no way I'm rerolling all the other slots to you know fit that combat style. Same pretty much goes with magic as well. Um, let's get a Sanfu Serum just because it, it's a prayer pot, it's anti-poison, and also just in case, the, the rare case, well, it's probably not that rare, but the medium case that he has Venom, I'm definitely going to want Guthix's Rests, which do heal a little less than Manta Rays, but they are Tick Eats, and they do reduce Venom to poison, and they also reduce poison by one. Um, let's just buy a few Karambons. Just going to buy like four. I'll bring forward to the fight, and then the rest of the inventory can be Mansaries, and we'll just buy like 23, which will definitely cover that. Okay, so we have 165k. 
If we take 165 divided by 5, we have 33 spins on the randomizer. It sucks that, you know, these weren't as fast as dragons, but they were pretty much the same. I would say the big blunder here was fucking going to, um, uh, what are they called? Dark Beasts. Those fuckers did nothing for me. Just wasted 10 minutes off the clock. Okay, here we go. 33 spins. Let's get a Fury or a Glory first. Preferably a Fury. Okay, a Glory. Three rolls for a Glory. Um, see, it's tricky. It's very, very tricky right now because I do like all my slots and I don't want to mess up a slot, but some things are definitely worth going for, especially with 30 rolls left. The Helm Cape... We won't touch the shield we probably won't touch it's very hard to get a better shield plate body plate legs you won't touch let's touch things like the ring our ring right now is rather useless that oh my gosh two archers ring eyes pretty pretty awesome if i was going range there but come on it might i'm not gonna waste all my fucking spins on a ring I don't want a tyrannical ring. Are you kidding me? This is... This is the dumbest set of spins I've ever had. A sapphire ring. <gasps> okay. I can't believe I dumped that many in there. Um, I have one more roll, and I'm probably going to try to go for a blessing, which I did not get. Guys, this is going to be our setup. I did kind of want to re-roll my weapon if I had like 30 plus to go, but just to risk it, because I don't think this, this weapon's that good, to be honest. Pitted with the treasonous, it might be a lot better. Let's buy our final setup, and um, we'll talk about it. All right, here we are. Here we are. This is the setup. I'm I'm happy with it, and I'm also a bit stressed with it. I, I like my armor, but my weapon I'm not too happy with. See, I think key in this challenge might be to just let the randomizer kind of choose your fate to see where you fall into, because if, if you look at the good mage weapons, the good range weapons, and the good melee weapons, um, if you don't have a combat style yet, you could fall under any of those categories. But let's say you, you now rolled full melee armor, you now have to roll a good melee weapon for it to work. You can't have full melee armor and get like a Kodai wand and expect to really make moves with it, you know? So I I, I don't know how I would have done it differently exactly, truthfully. Um, I think I did okay in terms of making money. I think the, the black scimitar thing was amazing. I calced it to be like, 580k an hour which absolutely dominated uh chins and green dragons which and those two were about equal yeah nice my man how are we doing yeah not bad mate not bad i'm a... it was uh -oh. an interesting one <laughs> interesting one well first of all you, you sound pretty excited over there which is never good news for me i feel like the randomizer was kind to me I won't lie. Oh, I won't no. lie. Oh, no. I mean, for me, I, I wouldn't say it was kind, but I wouldn't say it was bad. Okay, that's uh, great news. That's fa fantastic uh, news. Go for the oh. first item, and uh, we'll see how we're doing here. Let's go shields. And I mm. swear to God, if you pull up the same shield as me again this time. <laughs> surely, surely it's a rune kite. Well, I, at oh. least mine's colored, bro. <laughs> I think mine might have been colored, but I didn't bother. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's funny because in my first clip, I, I, obviously in this challenge, we're supposed to always have what we have on. Yeah. Uh, but I forgot to equip my first item that nice. I in the first rolls because a gothic skirt wasn't selling for 700k, which is oh, I don't have it God. in the reveal. But, and then I just forgot about it in the GE. <laughs> in, the, in the next clip, I'm like, guys, I'm I'm just gonna rock a Zami. I wasn't yeah. doing anything combat related, so it didn't change anything. I'll allow that. I'll allow that. Thank you. you. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it seems like you're very confident, so I don't think you'll need the. Uh, I, I am feeling good about cap. this. Um, <laughs> do you want to talk about like a couple of your money makers or something you thought was pretty right. 200 IQ? Right. So the first thing I did was I just now I wasn't too sure on this method because I the you know it was black scimitars not oh, to yeah, sugarcoat okay. it but yeah, yeah. um 1.5k each 
And as I'm picking them up, I'm thinking, fuck, well, you know, this is actually really fast money. But the main problem is they have to sell, Yeah. you know, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I mean, how how much in demand could a black scimitar honestly be? Um, so I was able to sell maybe around 75 to 100 almost instantly, just minus wow. 5 percent. Wow. And then like 50 of them I had in for like 400 to 500 below medium price on the GE that took all episode to sell. I had like maybe 40 minutes left when it sold. Not all episode, but oh, okay. a good chunk. A good chunk. And I think it might have been more money. Uh-oh. But I, I couldn't rely on it. <laughs> That's not good. Again, I couldn't rely on it because, you know, was the demand there. But I went to the Gnome Stronghold and bought the cream hats. Mm -hmm. So I looked at GE Tracker and I checked oh. which one had the highest percentage. And I went there, and the uh -huh. day before, 300 cream hats had been sold. So I was like, okay, they're in demand. A, a, you know, a, a clan's buying them. So I bought them for 160 each. They sold for 1K mm -hmm. each. They sold for over double what I was wow. expecting to get. So I, I think I made about 150K doing that. And then I was like, right, at some point, this clan Holy is going to stop buying this. So I can't rely on this anymore. So then I started doing... I actually did Torture Gorillas for a bit as well. Boots. Let's see your booties. It didn't Ooh. want to keep rolling. I got these pretty quick, so uh, I just decided to stick with them. Cool, cool, cool. I got Ooh, some, okay. some guardians. So I think they're actually not too far off each other. I think they're both very, very good boots. I think you get some strength bonus on that, don't yeah, you? It's, yeah. it's small, but you definitely get something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, kids, your pick, mate. Cool. Yeah. Let's go with um. Let's go with legs. Okay, quite happy about this one. Oh god. <sighs> Some Toraggies. Quite happy with this one. Oh as no. Well. Okay, alright, alright. That's I thought you were gonna pull out like Justicars cars or something. I was oh like, no, 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 no. Okay, no. alright. Or or maybe not yet, Link. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, your pick, mate. Let's go hell. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> really? I do. The moment you made that comment, I couldn't not pick hell next. <laughs> I, I couldn't not pick hell. Wow. Uh, yeah, dude, I got this actually really quick, too. I would say out of all my spins, the helm slot is the one that I had the good RNG in. Oh, I'll be about that because that's, that's a really good one to get. In yeah that slot. wow it really Shit. it really really wow. is okay all right um, all right very happy about that let's Plus it go, looks sick let's go cape mate got here? quite happy on this oh, one um sake. well i mean it's not that hard okay. to get let's go oh. okay yeah 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 i just wanted the prayer bonus and yep. the defense okay. i saw it was like yep Ooh. okay um let's go necklace let's let's see if this guy had some extra spins nah, nah, okay nah, nah, nah. no yeah, okay yeah, two yeah. glories <laughs> yeah same okay i mean i tried to go for the fury i did put a, an okay amount in it but yeah. um yeah with like 10 left i was kind of like i might fuck myself over and not even get a glory if i keep spinning that slot i did a bit of that um, as well so you know i feel you uh let's go yeah. gloves mate let's see what you <sighs> Combat, Ooh, combat bracelets okay i got saradome uh, braces oh he's ranging he's ranging he's ranging he's ranging he's ranging he's ranging i'm pretty sure you're going melee here it's a bit worried about well <laughs> maybe just got unlucky with the gloves all which right. i doubt i mean no he's got to be ranging all right uh then let's let's go ring I think this will tell me, unless you have like a suffering. <laughs> Archer's ring, unimbued. <laughs> what you got? Treasonous ring, oh, imbued. Oh no! Is that stab or crush? I don't know. It's one of the you two. tell me. Ah, uh, fucking body, then kins body. Ah uh, shit, yeah. Uh, so I so was I, I honestly I'm just I'm just really glad that you're not going fucking uh magic. Yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, Cuz fuck. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think the only thing we have left is a weapon. Correct. Well, actually, okay. You you have bolts. Can you hit me with a bolt reveal? I have or an ammo slot reveal. Dragon bolts P. Okay. 
But it's nothing enchanted, no, right? No, no, just a simple poison is all that's on okay. there. I mean, I have tons of anti-poison, <sighs> right. so thankfully uh, that won't affect me, but... On go. All right, so, it, I mean, it's so... Uh, Link, I mean, you have to have a Dragon Hunter or an ACB. Has to be. <sighs> For fuck's sake. What's he got? What's he got, though? Oh, okay. That's actually I fine. Know. That's actually okay. No, I know. I know it is, and I'm oh. fuming on it. It's a shitty weapon, Link. So it's a stab ring. I'm, I'm always getting yes. confused between those rings. Okay. Yes, All and right. I'm fuming because with with the way my thing worked is I, I I think I got too complacent on this weapon, and then I didn't spin for extra weapons, and then I started spinning for gear. Mm -hmm. And then towards the later end of the challenge, I was like, am I really going to risk spinning my weapon? Because after I had my gear, I was thinking... Yes, I could get a decent weapon quick, but it it like magic and range are now kind of off the table because I have all my melee gear already spent. If I get an ACB, and I have, I'd have to spin a top, maybe a ring. It's funny you say that. Gloves, mate. boots. I had full torag except for the weapon, obviously, and that weapon. Really? And I said, "Nah, it's not good enough." And I kept spinning, and and luckily got the <laughs> ACB. And then I had to because I said that too, but top. I just sucked it up. Okay. All right. What's what's your stab defense? Because my range is three sixty nine. It's my highest by far. My stab which I'm is thrilled about two eighty one. So you do have a lot of defense on me. I've got one hundred forty nine, uh, one hundred forty three range with one hundred twenty two range strength though. All right, Kins. Let's see what we got. Cool. Now, sour brews aren't allowed in these fights. Correct. Just before anybody mentions it, and to be honest, man, pretty straightforward. I have these teas and a sand food to kind of negate um, any venom if you did have it. Four yeah. crambons and the rest, manta rays. Fairly similar from me. Sand few I didn't think was worth it because I wanted to bring an anti venom just in case you got some sort of venom weapon, and obviously that yep. provides. 16 minutes or something from poison immunity and then obviously a bastion potion uh, yeah. yeah dude and the sanfu's fucking 30k yeah that was another case i was like nah, nah, i'll spend the 15k on this these two so yeah yeah dude it's ridiculous man but okay all right let's gotta uh, make the decision on the spot let's do this mate let's do it man And guys, as always, there is another episode over on Rag's channel. We did the exact same concept, but instead we were in... Where were we, Kins? <laughs> the Kevo is <laughs> Totally forgot where we were. <laughs> yeah. Just filmed it. Yeah. Uh, we were in the Kevo Slowlands, and uh, yeah, so we started off with 15 spins and then saw who could uh, progress the quickest, make the most money so they could get the most spins and have the best setup for the fight. Kins, mate, I'm about to set up my quick prayers. And then I'm going to cool. need a two-second warning from you. Obviously, no overheads in this, guys. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Two awesome. Two-second warning, mate. And, uh, yeah. Two-second uh... warning in effect now. Ooh, okay. Hot up. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this spec never hits, man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh yes. no, this is oh. this weapon is fucking atrocious. Jagex, why would you create this fucking P oh. okay, maybe not. Maybe I spoke to Jagex, I'm sorry. I apologize for my words. You're a bad man. Oh yes. Oh uh, wait, yes. But I don't know if it's gonna work, man. That Come is on. Ooh, I could I mean probably not, but I could have died right there. I think I could probably a... hit like a four ish. Oh. Dude, oh my god. Dude, my range defense is fucking mad high right now. I'm no. hoping you're just getting a bit lucky. I'm hoping you're good. getting a bit lucky here. Feeling good over here, mate. I won't lie. Come on. Come on, little train. Yes. Little f oh, okay. That's not what you want to see. That I mean, if I can get like two 20 plus hits right now. Fuck. Okay, well now two 20 plus hits. I think I'm, I think I'm back. But I need to see him. Come on, come on. Come on. I have speed, which is always good. Come but on. Your accuracy it. is much higher. Okay. Oh, 25. Oh, one more. One more. One more, oh, and I'm man, back. I haven't in hit it. since the start. I know. I'm hoping you. Oh, yeah, okay. We're back. We're oh back. my god. What? <laughs> Let's go. Man trashed the weapon. He trashed I it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Come on, hit, 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 hit. Oh, hit. Yes. What's Don't do? you dare complain about Double your accuracy and I've missed. Oh, oh my gosh. I misclicked my crumb one there. Let's Come just on. eat. Let's just eat. Let's just uh... eat. Don't, don't want to risk. I don't want to play this stupid, especially when you can hit 40s. Probably higher, to be honest. Come on. Rigor. Come on. Nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah, you, you stopped hitting. You yeah. stopped hitting. Yeah, I had such a good start. Such a good start. So glad I have these bandos boots, man. Shit. <sighs> Come on, hits. Can you hit? How can you, yeah, you start just... off with like 27s and 30s? And, oh. oh, this is so <laughs> this great. Is fucking eight. No. <laughs> Come on. Just, just a few more hits and he's done. Hit. <laughs> a few more hits oh and he's done. Oh my god. Oh, yes. My spec's coming back. I'm warning you now, Link. A, a bunch of zeros are about to come your way. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Ooh, I hit. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I hit. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You are a Link. tank. Oh, it started Link. so well. It started. What the fuck? Yes. And again. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I genuinely thought I lost the first two minutes. Not Legit. even the first I was minute like, of oh, the fight, sick. maybe. I was like, sick. This is a win. No. Yeah. No, it's not. You're going to have to work for it now. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Wow, you're really risking lower HP than... Oh! Oh, fuck. So Crap, like come see. on. That's what we like to see. No, yep. dude. Fuck. Yeah, dude. Poison in this fight, or Venom, because I guess the only way to poison is to Venom. Yeah. Um, Would be unreal. Yeah, it'd be insane. And that is why I brought this anti venom because it's just it's such a long fight. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Come on, that's so poor. So's that. <sighs> Sound like you're really struggling over there, man. I thought the ACB was meant to be mad OP with rigor, and it's just nah. I should have stuck with a weapon and full fucking Torah. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but like, imagine I went magic, you know? But you didn't, kids. You didn't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, yes. This is yes. ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Yeah, what happened to the days of range being overpowered? <laughs> no, dude. It's it just ended. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. Got a big hit. E e big hit. Okay. Oh. Come on, let's see a 40. Let's eat up, let's eat up, let's eat up. That's shit, not a nine. Oh, yes. Fucking hell. Again. No, not again, Kins. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. Oh my god, how's that? <laughs> that is too accurate. Too yeah, accurate. Dude, what? I mean, I don't expect you to know off the top of your head, but do you know if stab bonus? Was your lowest or something? I can't remember. It is, was in, is, it was, is it's definitely like 250 at least. Right, 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 right. I think we said it in the video and we yeah, already we forgot, we forgot though. Come on, come on. Big hit, big hit, come big on. hit. I just need like a, a 37, 40. Come on. Ooh, I hit again. Can we hit? Ridiculous. He's you. He's you. Ridiculous, dude. Oh, come on. Yeah, I stopped hitting now. I can stop hitting forever, mate. What is my chance to hit? Like 5%? Seems like it. <laughs> it's insane. Ooh, yes. Is he out? No, he's not. He I should not eat. Be out, mate. He did did not you be hit a 42? Out. I can hit closed. a 1, is what I can do. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. Don't talk to me about ones, Link. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, this is go. ridiculous. Oh! Oh! Wow. Okay. Eat up. <laughs> wow. You're out. I am out. I am out. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's okay, definitely got just... this. There's no chance. Are you out of food or have you got more? No, I have seven mantas. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's um, ridiculous. And I'm going to drink my last dose of super combat just to make sure. I, uh, yeah, like, here's where this fucking nonsense happens. I'm just going to overeat right now. Fuck okay, there we go. off. There what? We go. Oh, How? my God. How is it that? I can't believe that. I thought it'd be wow. closer. I really thought that'd be closer. That's insane. How much food left? Seven. Well, no, uh, five now, but full HP. So, I mean, I guess depending how you look at it, but. <sighs> wow, yeah. Geez, geez. Go check the other video out. See if I redeem myself over there. Kins, GG, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Go check out the Kebo Slowland. See you over there, guys.